Welcome, welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. Today I'm going to share with you a tuna fish recipe that my grandmother used to make. Grandmother Mamie Roach, God rest her soul. My mother never made tuna fish. She hated it. So this is essentially her recipe. And I've just, well, this is what she would do for the two of us when we were together. And she used to do it. Star kiss light and tuna and water. And she would scramble up one egg, but she wouldn't mix it. She would say that way she would have the white and the yellow. She would put it in the pan, put a bit of butter on it, and just mix up one egg. And then eight bread and butter pickles. Pick your own brand. I'm going to put this away. And I'll be right back. Okay. Then she used to use her kitchen scissors. She would tell me the best way to do this is to cut them. So she would take the bread and butter pickles, the seven of them, and cut them up kind of small, like this. She would use scissors. She wouldn't use a knife. She would just pick seven of them. Not the end piece. Not that end piece. But just seven on the inside pieces. Mmm, they're so good. She always had, like me, one pair of scissors that you wouldn't use any for anything but your kitchen. Okay. All right, so we've got that done. Now we're going to open our can. And I have a colander out here uh, to share with you why. Because our can is a side can, okay. our can opener is a side one. Here I go, opening up the can. Here I go, opening up the can. You can feel when it's done. All right. Now I'm handing that back up. I'll wash all the dishes after. So you see there's water in here because this was cooked in water. But I'm going to put it in a strainer and strain out the water. You only need one can for us. But if you want to make it for more people, you double or triple it or whatever. But my grandma, it would be one small can. And she would always strain it out even though she had the other type of can. Because she wanted to get out all the water first. She didn't, you know, squeeze it out. She would just strain it out. And then take the fork, push down on all the tuna to make sure you got all the water out. Because we got plenty of stuff in it. Okay, now we've done that. We've strained out all of it by pushing it down with the fork. So we're putting it in there. Okay. I'll wash all that when I get done the dishes, okay? Then we're going to put the one egg scrambled in here. That's a large egg, but my grandma, she had her own chickens. So it would be whatever egg she grabbed. And then the cut up pickles goes in here. Okay. Then we're going to Then we're going to mix up I'm going to adjust this camera down a bit. 
Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay. Now we're going to mix up all the ingredients we just put in there till they're well mixed before we go any further. This is exactly the way my grandma did it, Grandma Roach, on my mother's side. She hated tuna fish because she said she ate it a lot when she was her kid. So she, I never got to eat it except when I was at my grandma. Then she, she would take a mustard thing and one squirt. There you go. I'm going to put this away. All right. Then she would mix it up again. I've got to get a spoon. All right. Then she would take a bit of sweet relish. And put in what she would say like about a quarter of a teaspoon of sweet relish. Okay. That is that. All right. That is done. And we mix it up again. All right. Now we're going to get some. Real mayonnaise. Okay. Let's get some real mayonnaise. This is exactly the way my grandma did it. All right. Then we're going to put that in the fridge. Okay, that's in the fridge. Now we're going to get that off with the fork. All right, putting that in the sink. You end up having a lot of dirty dishes after, but that's part of the course. Now we're going to mix it up. See, this is way more than enough for one person, but it was two people. It was me and my grandma. Okay, that is the whole recipe. Real, get it really good. That is exactly how. Sorry about that. I bumped my camera here. She did it. Now I'm going to get some bread. Well, my grandma used to use only white bread, but you use whatever bread you want to for it. Your favorite bread. Okay, so I've got it down here. So, all right, so then we're going to take this. You can store your leftovers too, or you can have a second sandwich. My grandma, with this one recipe, would be enough for the two of us. And I love tuna fish. Mm, it was so tasty. But my mom hated it. So I never got to have it. Unless I was visiting my grandmother. She would never make it. Okay. Now I'm cutting the bread in half. <laughs> I'm going to show you the finished product. Look at that. See how beautiful that is? Oh yeah. And then one more thing my grandmother would do. She would always serve me an apple. Now I never had an apple either unless I was over at my grandmother's. Never got apples at my mom either. Never had an apple until my grandmother introduced me to apples. So every time I have an apple, 
it like floods back with good memories of me spending time with my grandma. But she would give me a half an apple. She would have the other half. She even used to make her own applesauce. I have to do that sometime for all of you. She would always, never refrigerated her apples. She had her apples sitting in this big dish with other fruit. She always had fruit laying around. And she used to say, if I want one, I could go and grab one. So. There's my cut-up fruit. But because it's just me, I'm doing that. Okay, so let's, it's taste testing time. Okay, it's taste testing time. I'm gonna put that in a dish and put it away. We're gonna start with my tuna fish sandwich. I, I'm sure it's just as good as my grandma made. So it's like going home. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Delicious. I had me another bite. Mmm. That my grandma tuna fish, and now I'm going to have a piece of apple. The apple would be off of her tree, but these came out of the store. Oh, so sweet. And here it is. One lunch that I would have with my grandma. So, feel free to share. Feel free to subscribe. Hugs and kisses from my family to yours. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Love y'all.